For centuries, House Valarian had to scratch out an existence from the sea. When I ascended the Driftwood Throne, I knew what I wanted. So I went out and seized it. When we first meet Corlys, he's in Viserys' small council. Four ships have now been lost. He's quite a sort of stern character. What is to be done about my ships and my men? Corlys is a man of action. He has an incredible ambition. He doesn't have much patience for fools. The Valarians were one of the first ones to settle in Westeros. They control the greatest and strongest fleet. To elude a storm, you can either sail into it or around it. But you must never await its coming. The Sea Snake is the richest man and an accomplished sailor, so he's a great ally to have. His wife, Rhaenys, is also known as the Queen Who Never Was. The Prince Viserys Targaryen. Ever since my name was read by the Great Council, I have felt Corlys Valarian's envious gaze staring at me. It was between Viserys and Rhaenys. He felt it should have been his wife, and he's never really forgotten that. Rhaenys was the only child of Jaehaerys' eldest son. She had a strong claim at the Great Council. Legacy. Getting back in line to the throne. It's the thing that keeps Corlys awake at night. What I've liked most about this show is actually getting to know all these people. Everybody's just so lovely. I'm glad that I'm part of opening up this Westeros universe. Lord of the Tide. It's been an absolute joy.